what is american renaissance generally american literature is divided into five different ages just like we have british literature we have different ages like age of chaucer age of revival age of elizabeth age of pope age of samuel johnson the same way we have american literature which is divided into five different stages beginning with the first one which is the colonial period the second one is american renaissance the third one is nationalism and realism then modernist period and then the last one is contemporary period all the american literature is concluded in these five different ages so the second age which is the american renaissance which began in 1830 and the closing period is 1865 1865 is the same year when the american civil war was ended and after that a new age began in american literature so the timeline for american renaissance is 1830 to 1865 this american renaissance is also known as the romantic period in american literature because it was influenced by the british literature the romantic period in British literature particularly S.T. Coleridge influence on Ralph Waldo Emerson so this age is also known as a romantic period in American literature or you can say that it is also the age of transcendentalism where we have the writers like Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Bronson Alcott and Margaret Fuller after these transcendentalist writers we have other writers which led this American Renaissance movement in the future ahead it includes William Cullen Brandt, Washington Irving and James Cooper. Again we have other American writers in this American Renaissance who were experimenting with other genres just like short stories by Edgar Allan Poe or the short stories of Nathaniel Hawthorne, Herman Melville, Harrier Beaker Stowe. In this American Renaissance we also see the rise of American criticism which earlier began with the Ralph Waldo Emerson the American scholar and then this American criticism was was taken to the new level, taken to the new heights by the work of Edgar Allan Poe. The philosophy of composition by Edgar Allan Poe took the American criticism to new heights. We see a great influence of Edgar Allan Poe's criticism on the critics like Alan Tate, John Crow Ransom and R.P. Blackmer. So the criticism done by Edgar Allan Poe plays a significant role whenever we study the literary theory or when we study new criticism. So this is what American Renaissance all about. I hope you found the video worth your time. Subscribe to this channel for more updates on UGC Net English Literature. That's it for this video. Thank you.